Among the many late breakers that were shown at ACC, uh, one trial was called Gemini ACS. Gemini was focused on what is the optimal antithrombotic strategy after an ACS. We have, for many years, we've used dual antiplatelet therapy combining a P2Y12 inhibitor and aspirin. Aspirin, we know, is a cheap agent. It has substantial efficacy, but it's also an agent that creates bleeding, particularly GI bleeding. On the other hand, we have theoretical and clinical evidence that combining antiplatelet therapy and low-dose anticoagulation might be extremely beneficial. Specifically, in the ATLAS ACS trial program, combining rivaroxaban with dual antiplatelet therapy of clopidogrel and aspirin was associated with a substantial mortality reduction, close to 40% mortality reduction, something that's really uh, very impressive. The problem is that there was a price to pay for this efficacy, which was a very substantial increase in bleeding as well. And so Gemini tried to address the question of, can we drop aspirin and replace aspirin with very low dose anticoagulation using a factor 10A inhibitor such as rivaroxaban and get the best of both worlds. Maintain the efficacy, if not increase the efficacy and lower mortality and do this at an acceptable rate of bleeding. So we designed Gemini ACS, Gemini ACS as a stepping stone to a large phase three trial, which I think, I believe, should be a mortality trial. This is a phase two trial looking at the feasibility and the safety of this approach, and the primary outcome was bleeding, TIMI significant, clinically significant bleeding, to have some s sensitivity and power. And the trial randomized approximately 3,000 patients receiving a P2I12 inhibitor, either ticagrelor or clopidogrel, to being randomized to low-dose aspirin or low-dose rivaroxaban. The bottom line is there was no difference, no signif statistically significant difference in bleeding between the two arms. Overall, as well as across the two strata receiving ticagrelor and clopidogrel. There was no difference either in, a, in an exploratory composite ischemic endpoint trying to seek out whether efficacy was maintained, but the trial was underpowered for this, and I think these conclusions have to be viewed as very exploratory. So I think this is exciting because it shows that for the first time in 30 years, we have a, an antithrombotic strategy that is safe and does not incorporate aspirin and has the potential to be tested in large phase three trial to see whether we can further reduce cardiovascular mortality post ACS. I think there's a promise here that deserves to be explored in a large phase three outcomes trial.